Hi, today we're going to use the Boris Effects Lens Correction Filter to correct extreme wide-angle footage in Adobe Premiere. Lens Correction is part of the Image Restoration Tools in Boris Continuum Complete 10, and it's also available for After Effects, Avid Media Composer, Final Cut Pro X and Motion, Blackmagic Resolve, Fusion, Nuke, Vegas, and Catalyst. The footage we're going to be using today is provided by our friends at Artbeats. As you can see, this first shot is sort of a moderate wide angle, and the straight lines on the edges are starting to curve a little bit. This should be pretty easy to fix. So under Video Effects, we'll go to the Boris Image Restoration Tools and select BCC Lens Correction, and then drop it onto our clip. Even with the default settings, we can see this shot has improved a lot, but we can fine tune it a little bit more. The correction slider adjusts how much the effect warps the shot, and this warping will make the curved line straight. You'll notice we scaled up a bit in the default settings, so using the scale master slider, we can zoom out a little further and get some of the image back. We don't want to go too far, or we'll see where the image starts to warp at the top and the bottom. If for some reason you need to just distort the horizontal or vertical, the scale X and scale Y sliders do just that. If we highlight the filter over here, you'll see the on-screen controls for correction and scale master appear. Depending on your workflow, these can be a little more intuitive than the sliders, but they do the same thing. If you look at the columns in this next shot, you can see that there's a little more warping going on. So I'm going to apply the effect and turn on our on-screen controls. First, I'll adjust the correction amount until the columns are straight. And like before, we can use the scale master control to widen the shot up a bit until we see that distortion at the top and bottom. Now this looks pretty good, but it looks a little off-center. So we can use the pan slider, which has standard horizontal and vertical controls, to move the shot over and center everything a little better. Now we can straighten out the lines on this next shot pretty quickly. But because of the camera angle, it's also distorted a bit, sort of diagonally up into the sky. So we'll adjust the vertical perspective, and it should look a little more like we're looking at it head on. Changing the vertical perspective revealed the distortion point at the bottom. So we'll use the pan slider to adjust that a little bit. And then we'll punch in just a little bit more with the scale master control. In this last shot, there are a lot of things we can fix. It's warped, off-center, and tilted. We can use BCC Lens Correction to completely correct this. We'll go through the usual initial adjustments we went through on the other clips. Scale, Correction, and Pan. But now we're going to add in some adjustments to rotation to level off the building. Now that we've rotated, I'm going to go back and fine-tune some of my initial adjustments. I see one more improvement we can make, and since we've changed the perspective of this shot quite dramatically, we can use the Lens Center slider to change the center of the warp. We've panned the whole frame over quite a bit, and this will help recenter the image and give us a more realistic perspective. As with all Boris effects, you can save custom presets for use on other similar clips. This filter comes preloaded with several useful presets, which can be used on things like GoPro cameras, which use very wide lenses and are becoming more and more common. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm Nathan Ryan for Boris Effects and Imagineer Systems.